Did you know that you can open this spinning wheel on any slide in your PowerPoint presentation? No long creation process or animations needed. You can, and I'm gonna show you the tool. It's free. Sarah from Ikno here. Let's dive in to making your very own spinning wheel of names inside PowerPoint. Instead of spending ages making a DIY random name picker or having to leave your presentation to open up another tool, we're going to be using ClassPoint. ClassPoint is an all-in-one teaching tool, which means that it has tools that you use on an everyday basis, like this timer, these whiteboard backgrounds, this browser, and that spinning wheel are all located right inside PowerPoint. So to access, first download ClassPoint from classpoint.io, and then once it's downloaded, it will appear as its own tab in your PowerPoint ribbon. Sign in, sign up, and we can begin using that spinner wheel. Now that you have ClassPoint, let's add those names to pick from. There are two ways to do this. First, you can invite your audience to join your class, or the second, you can manually add your names with a class list. To invite your audience to join your class, enter your PowerPoint presentation mode and invite your audience to join your class at classpoint.app. So they can use any browser and when they get there, they only need to type in this class code and their name and you're all set. Once all of your audience has joined in, you have that roster to pick from and use that spinner wheel in a second. You can also use ClassPoint's other interactive activities like the questions. The second way to add names is back in your PowerPoint edit mode. So here, before you begin your presentation, click on the class list icon and we're going to add a new class. So you can give it a new name and a unique class code to differentiate in between your different lists. Then click next and you can type in all of your names or import a list. Sidebar, you can also type team names or objects to use inside of your spinning wheel here instead. Then to use these names when you're ready to pick names during your PowerPoint presentation, enter that presentation mode again, click on the class code, and we're going to go ahead and change to that specific list. Now that you've added names in one of those two ways, let's go ahead and pick some names. To do so, go ahead and click on the little person icon with that question mark inside on the toolbar, and you'll see that the spinner wheel is now populated with all of those names we added into our list. To reveal a name, go ahead and click on that spinner wheel, and a name will be picked for you. You can even add some gamification into your presentation by awarding that name a star for participating or answering your questions. When you're all finished, you can either put the name back into the wheel for a chance to be picked again, or click outside of that name card for it to be um, counted out for the next round. In addition to the wheel spinner, you guys can also reveal names behind these emoji cards or by using the auto pick feature, which allows you to pick multiple students at once. All of these views are synced, so picking and revealing a name on one will have them be revealed on the other as well. Ready to start over? Go ahead and click on the reset button and all the names will be shuffled up again. And the best part is that you guys can open up this wheel spinner on any slide in your PowerPoint presentation. There's no need to add hyperlinks or jump around in your presentation to go to a homemade animated wheel spinner in your PowerPoint slides. Go through your presentation as you would like and open up the name picker at any time. And that's it. You guys can now add a spinning wheel into your PowerPoints the quickest, easiest, most convenient way possible. For more information on ClassPoint and ClassPoint's other features like the interactive audience activities, gamification, and other presentation tools, subscribe to watch more videos or watch the videos linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching.